Hello, everybody. Today we'll be talking about integrating Boomtown and Sisu. Uh, Boomtown is one of the most popularly used CRMs in conjunction with Sisu. Uh, we have a really strong integration here provided uh, through two different partners. And uh, first, I just wanted to talk about why you would want to integrate Boomtown, what some of the advantages are. And, and as of today, which is uh, the 8th of May, 2019, what is possible through a Boomtown integration. And this is something that we're continually working on. So by the time you're viewing this, there are probably more features, but this will go over the basics of how the integration works. So the idea is, is you have thousands of leads in Boomtown, um, and that's great. Uh, you want them in there, you're prospecting them. It's a, it's a good field or a good farm for your agents to go in and uh, pull all those leads and make their calls and, and focus on follow-up and that's really what your CRM is focused on is Managing the customer relationship and Sisu adds a tighter circle of accountability on top of that uh, Where you can really manage your agent production manage the activities manage their efficiency uh, In these things and the idea with a boomtown and Sisu integration is that your agents are actually going to engage more and more closely with their Boomtown platform um, and see some of the benefits of that in Sisu. So you notice here I have a, uh, a lead profile pulled up in, in Boomtown. It's a test lead that I've created on a, on a real account. And um, we have uh, a dashboard here. So the idea is that contacts uh, can come over. So if I log a call in Boomtown, I just hit the phone and uh, I hit talk to prospect. Uh, that's going to log a contact and if I and it will also log a dial uh, so I probably have dials turned on down here number of dials so it will log that that I attempted and that I successfully spoke with somebody and then um, if I log that I just you know left a message or I attempted or it was the wrong number or something like that uh, it's just going to log this dial uh, and then the other thing that's happening here is if you set a to do type meeting um, so if I go to type and select meeting and I set this, um, that's going to send it over into Sisu as an appointment set. So there's this appointment set metric. Uh, let's see if I have it turned on down here. So you'll see, you'll be able to see uh, how many appointments you've set uh, through Boomtown. So that's where you get a lot of those prospecting metrics is they're just pulling over automatically uh, uh, via this integration. And um, you know other things that we're still working on text messages that's something that should be coming soon so as you log a text message in here uh, it's going to log that you had that attempt over here so really cool things that are being worked on um, um, and still coming now the other idea is that you are tracking so if i pull up a lead here in sisu i'm tracking all kinds of things on this lead i'm tracking gci i'm tracking commissions uh you know i'm tracking mortgage companies and lenders and dates and deadlines. And these dates right here specifically, these are what drive a lead through the CSU platform. So when I go into CSU and I log that I went on an appointment with someone, it will log that I had an appointment met. And I'll do that by putting in this date. Um, when I sign somebody, I'll put in a signed date and that's what marks the transaction as signed. This is under contract, and then this is my ultimate uh, settlement date. And so if you look at these dates and some of these commission numbers, they correlate really closely with what's being tracked over here in the Boomtown in the transaction section. So the integration that's available today is that as these dates are filled out in CSU, so as you're filling out these dates and, I, and you have a signed date, and you have a paid income and a GCI and a transaction amount, and it's been filled out. Uh, the other part of the integration is that it can go back into Boomtown and create this transaction for you and fill in some of the different items here. So if I have a seller, um, you know, looking at this, it's gonna pull in the address and the city and the state and whatever you have in Sisu, but specifically this price and commission amounts and some of these, you know, listing dates, expiration dates, those will come over from Sisu and create this transaction in Boomtown. So it's actually going to keep your Boomtown up to date uh, just by managing it through Sisu. Now, one of the thing that's, things that's coming very shortly and may be available by the time uh, you're watching this video is a way for your agents to come in here and create, for example, a pre-listing or create a active listing or a uh, you know pre-contract for a buyer. And having these dates flow over into Sisu and populate you know these different dates that actually drive a transaction through your system so 
really cool things that are coming. Right now it's going Sisu back into Boomtown. Uh, shortly it's going to be doing Boomtown into Sisu. So um, I will now hop into some of the different integration options that are available uh, and we can talk about setting them up and evaluating them.